G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Total War Warhammer and we are continuing on in the very next turn from where we are last episode. We have Eben here that's got to get his world back to Aldorf and get ready to set himself up to replenish his troops. Bring me to my men. And Emperor Karl France needs to take Ilhart so we can finally secure the Reichland province. Now once this is done and we're going to have to take a little bit of time to do some building. I already have the construction crews running over. But I'm worried we're going to have a little bit of disorder. I've noticed that there has been some... Well, if we zoom in. As you can see, we're negative 12 on happiness, public order details. So I'm worried that we're going to have some rebellion breaking out here and I might lose some of my towns. Oh, a new queue. No, I don't want to do that. What can you do? No, they can't build. Cannot build, cannot build, cannot build. So why are you telling me I can build something if I can't? Ah. Of course, because I can. I can upgrade to a village. Uh, that's only just happened this turn. Alright, so that is fixed up now. So, obviously, to those who asked in the comment sections last time, and I answered a few, I am rather unfamiliar with the Total War series now. Basically I used to play Total War heavily when it first came out. I played up till I heavily played Medieval 1 and played some Medieval 2 although I was getting a bit bored of it by that time and I didn't like some of the the lack of features that were available to Medieval Total War 1. I am Prince and Emperor. Decided I would try and come back oh we can make that a single move. Decided we would try and come back for Rome 2, so of course I pre-ordered Rome 2 and I played about uh, 12 or 14 hours of that and have never gone back to it since. Apparently it's fixed now, but god it was a mess. Came back here because obviously you can't turn down a Warhammer game in Total War, uh, to in, uh, Total War. Like, that is just perfect. How this game hasn't been made before now, Men, I have no idea. Calls. But the good side of things is it means I'm relearning everything as I'm playing. Eldheart, they have bugger all in the way of troops. Two sets of crossbowmen, two sets of, two sets of spearmen, two sets of stored swordsmen. So we're about the same power on range units, but when it comes to anything else, I crush them. Yeah, you know what? We're going to actually play this one because I haven't played a city capture so far. We'll fight this battle. Alright, so at this stage I cannot see an enemy deployment in the field, so I have no idea what they're going to do. Once again, the enemy side seems to have a hill that gives them the high ground, so I'm attacking from below. I really don't like this. Um, we can use a hill, however, to hill in the forest over here to cover the Reichsguard. So that's cool. I want my range units. Doesn't really matter, I just want to get them both over here for the moment. Alright, I'm going to set them up in their own double column. That is fine. Uh, I can stay there. Shield sword. I want. The Empire and yours. Those two there. Now, basically, what I'm going to do here, at least the plan for this one, is because I'm still experimenting with the tactics here. Because it's been so long since I've played Total War, I don't know how any of the AI or anything works now, which is why it surprised me that those orcs in the last video didn't charge. I was fully expecting them to. So, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to move them in groups of two, keep the gunners separate. And yeah, move the formation in blocks of two. One block of swordsmen, one block of uh, spearmen. And hopefully that will work nicely. Let's see how they deploy. Hmm, pretty much what I expected. Swordsmen! Uh. On our way! Ready for war! Detachments move! Move. Moving out. Range attachments at the center. So these three. Uh, actually, a little bit further up. 
moment. What do you bet? These guys actually want to set them Quick there. Why that's going on? Ready. The Reich's guard. Go straight around the back of the forest over here and come in for a flanking charge. Actually, I can probably waypoint them too if I remember correctly. I go. And just leave it at that for the moment, and they should be able to charge in directly from behind and catch the stragglers. Now, the arranged contingents. out of range on both sides. That's alright. So I can see their curve, so instead what I'm gonna do Swordsman. is I want them to move forward out, sir. Let us go. a little more. My older ex rough. Seeking enemy! There. March as one! To me, man. Right to the edge the of their range move. units as they currently stand. The rocks guard nearly there yet? Where are they at? You guys right, are taking too bloody long. Quick march. Get moving. Fight will be over by the time they get into position. Alright, so the plan is I'm basically going to march my range units here up into the arcs of fire for their range units and have them try and obliterate this group of archers. That should technically initiate a charge from their troops and I'll charge mine to meet them. And my hope is if the Reichsguard gets their gear in order, they should be flanked around and ready to engage. Oh, never mind. Apparently one of our guys is a long enough range anyway, and we've already initiated the charge, so. Let them hold for a moment. Actually, move forward and engage. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't want them to do that. I want them to stay in groups of two. Alright. Charge. Pull the range units back. Separate the units. Move the range units wide. Spearmen through the center. Swordsmen are directly engaged. I want these two. What are you guys taking so long? I need just over here. Double time. Reichsguard. Take out those guys, please. Swordsmen from the rear. Spearmen through the center, they're already starting to break, which is nice. And spearmen in. The spear group here is completely, utterly, and totally surrounded. Damn it. Gonna have to engage from here. Awaiting order! Yes, General! So, thankfully, it does appear they are volleying, volleying for the moment. Handgunners can cease firing, bowmen can keep on, and the Reichsguard has arrived. About time. And victory. Hopefully, we didn't lose too many in that. That seemed to go relatively smoothly, although I did outnumber them, number them like two to one. So results, 90 losses, 902, 496 deployed, 272. 
Yeah, I could have done that better. 90 losses was a bit too high. Rank 5 gained, however. I will definitely take that. And decisive victory. So we have taken the city, which we will now occupy. This will bolster the nation. And that is the province now under control. So hold position and the nation calls. while we are getting our troops in order, we have some points to spend here. Now we've already got honest steel. Hard to hit. I'm not gonna worry about the personal prowess of our hero just yet. Public order plus one in the local providence. Speed of horse I don't have, hold the line. I'm actually gonna take iron discipline. Yes, I think that will work nicely. So that is Eldheart under control. We now have Reichland nicely secured. We have agreements with two of the factions down here. I'm just hoping we get agreements with the uh, Wessenland faction soon. And hopefully that will secure this entire flank. From, from that point, we can begin attacking across the River Reich and start taking out our guys to the north who are not quite agreeing with the fact that I should be Emperor. Now, how to approach this the best way? This is it. This is the last group of uh, successionists. If we can eliminate them, we complete the faction, which completes another mission. We've got a building to do in Eldheart too. Um, yep, that fixes that. Can't build those yet, and the rest of it is just ticking along as it should. Okay, not a problem. How are our troops here going? Needs more time. We have to complete that mission too. Actually, I might make that my next option. Once uh, troops have recovered up here, I think we'll have to come down and complete that mission. A commandment from one of your prominent capitals, Reichland. Commandment. This is new. Ah, commandments. What do we got here? State troop level E. Recruitment cost, negative five. Local recruitment capacity, one. Trade, five percent for agreement. Tariffs growth, 20. Tax rate, plus five percent. Hmm. Public order plus four. Host of feasting. We've got public order issues on pretty much all of my cities at this point in time, so hosting a feasting would definitely help. Have to get at least the capital province. Your prestige grows, my lord. Fractured nation. The News election of, of a your new conquest emperor. spreads far and wide. Shh. The election of a new emperor has oft led to turmoil as the machinations of the electoral counts play on, but the nobles conduct their petty power struggles, the nation fractures, and it's up to the newly elected sovereign to begin the process of reunification, bringing the entire province under his rule must be a priority. Occupy, loot, raise, or sack two different settlements. Unite the land. Even worse than the emperors in history. And shame. Have been many could have claimed was a rule. So occupy, loot, or raise six different settlements. I'm going to be busy. Simple enough. Now those are orders that come. Oh, hang on a second. We have technology, troop standards, leadership plus five, speed speed plus five. The faster my troops move, the better. That was an easy one. So, basically those are your objectives. They are... Actually, that reminds me, I should have officers that I can put into place at the moment. What is his skills? Um, those missions are the objectives for the game that are separate to the storyline objectives, so we have to complete those. Now, what have we got here? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, no, I don't want to recruit. I want to look at the one we already have. Now, of course. Armored and shielded. 
for further information. Oh, that's right, this basically pulls stuff off the wiki, which is going to take forever, because that doesn't work very well. Um, melee resistance, magic resistance... I'm just, basically, I'm checking at the moment to see if there's any negatives of giving him a position in office. If he's got a negative gold earning, for example, I don't want to put him in as treasurer, because it's going to ruin the economy of the city. And it looks like he is fine, so... Yeah, lords. I don't think I'll make him the treasurer. Negative 10 for artillery. Gives the character title Castilian and Engineer. Construction costs negative 10 for all buildings, local region. That's... Well, we can't move him. Okay, fair enough. There we go, that's what it's just given him. I will definitely take that. And at this point, I believe we can end turn. Greetings. All you survey are loyal to me, so I advise caution with your next words. Bastion, what do they want? Non-aggression pact, and they want to pay me 300 gold. Yes, I will accept that one, because I want to secure this side of the map. Preferably without conflict. The next steppers have been obliterated. There is nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of the Thurston Gods. That's another Orcish faction eliminated. Raiding by Hans Zinnar is affecting local public order. I don't need to recruit anything at the moment, so I'll take that one. Him, I do have to deal with, though. So, Summon the, the moment, counts. we're not going to be able to make it in a single turn. We'll bring the Emperor back this way, because I'm going to have to make my way over to the... Um, the quest line over here anyway, so... By the comet. Spearmen still haven't quite recovered. So we'll see what his next turn is. Um, at this point, we do have some building to do. Or do we? There we go. And... Field. Military support, military recruitment. Defense Infrastructure Infrastructure may not be a bad idea out of this one So we got Weaving House Field for food Tap room Who doesn't like a pub? We'll go with the pub That will be fields and military support. What have we got? Shrine of Sigma, Blacksmith. We can't build any of those at the moment. Cattle pastures or a weaving house. I'm not going to build anything there just yet. I'm going to wait another turn and find out what I might need and see if anything else pops up. If I cannot move, that is all good. I oh, should build orders for Grunberg. Why do you need to build anything else? Oh, of course, because I'm waiting a turn. Not a problem. Where are the successionists going? A strategic overview can be useful in such uncertain times, sir. I command here. Pick up the pace. Hmm. 
Technically, I can't stop them from raiding Grumberg with either of my forces yes, my in the line, or can I? No, I can't quite make that. AI is smart. If they'd been one block over to the left, I would have been able to hit him with an ambush all the way from Altdorf, but I can't quite make it. Um, shoot. Six turns left on tech. Nothing much else to do at this time. I could try and assemble an army at Grunberg, but I'd rather not do that at this point. Now we've got two up. Alright, so now we can build on two. Excellent, what can we got? We've already got a pub being built elsewhere in the realm, or at least in this province, so we don't need that. Weaving house, stiff creation of cloth, one of the emperor's specialties, it's flamboyant clothing, wouldn't exist without those weavers. Income generated 250. I'm going to make this a wealthy little town, I think. Cattle pastures, there are farms that are little more than tiny money fields on which screen goats. Growth plus 30, casualty replenishment rate plus 4. Where do we go for defense? Provides garrison, pistoliers, swordsmen, and crossbowmen. Well, this is a tough call here. Stables. Stables unlocks pistoliers. Oh no, I want that one. We'll go the weavers for gold generation, we'll go the stables, because once we get the upgraded stables to livery, we get access to more mounted cavalry. So, that one. Done. And let's see if it all gets raided. Come on, take the city over I will hear what you have to say. Ah, it's the dwarfs. Non-aggression pack and... They want a payment of a hundred gold? My power must be slipping, I must need a third army. A uh, hundred gold for a non-aggression pact. They put a timer on it? I know first step in building a good relation. I probably do want that. I don't want the orcs. Uh, there's no oh, the uh, the dwarfs. There's no reason for me to get involved in conflict with the dwarfs. We are not enemies. They are not one of my objectives. Yeah, I'll send them a hundred treasure for that. I normally wouldn't, but I will in this case. No equipment available. They're going to raid a decisive victory. How the hell did we get a decisive victory? Did I already have a third army there? Execute that piece. No, I didn't. I don't have a third army there. Okay, I thought for sure that city was completely undefended. That's confused the hell out of me. They must have put in a new feature where the city will automatically generate an army of at least some defense based on its strength. Because that wasn't any of my armies. I am Prince but and Emperor. I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to auto resolve this. This should just be us showing up and killing him. eliminated so that should be the successionists removed follow again camp follower no army travels alone who else would cook sue or loot the freshly slain wound recovery time negative one yeah i'll take that empire successionists have been obliterated wonderful that's them dealt with and now i don't have to worry about them annoying the uh the dwarf population up in the hills either so that is the good Emperor pretty much now. done for the turn. No, no, he's still got some moves. Oh, 
why I want you to actually go as the mission objective. Build heart. What have we got over here? Um. Ah, get out of the way. Alright, so we can upgrade Ildheart to village status, and that looks like everything that we can do here. And with that turn, oh, of course, Carl France has points. Bring I constantly to forget to do this. I don't know why. All right, so. I just oh I can, hang on there's multiple levels to this public order plus two I won't worry about it for the moment I'll definitely take one rank and we'll leave it at that is there multiple ranks to this seven for spin ooh pistol keeps the Lord expects his men to practice as a pistol corpse an expert marksman ammunition plus three for missile. Put two points in on a steel. Gets it up to seven. Oh yes, I see. The dots down the side on the tech tree, that is how many points to put in. So I can only put one point in this one, but three in those. And I have to put four points total into each of these trees to unlock the next one. Okay, that makes sense. So at this time we have Reichland secured, we should have fickle winds of magic spill from the realms of chaos and flow across the world, winds of magic for change. I don't really have any magic users yet at this time, so it's not really useful. A great migration comes to your borders demanding shelter from the large threats aboard, do them across no territory or turn them away. If we welcome them, recruitment cost becomes negative 10. Public order goes negative three in all provinces, but our growth is plus 15 in all provinces. I'm trying to get public order under control. Get rid of them. I can sacrifice a little bit of growth for the moment to try and get my provinces tidied up. Or my one province tidied up. So we're at 10 plus 12. 10 plus 12. 12, good. Actually, no, having all those numbers, I thought we were doing worse off than that. Obviously, killing the successionists uh, had a rather positive effect, so I probably could have taken the growth then. Well, that's what happens when you don't check. The Battle of Blood Pine Woods. The enemy failed to spot your ambush. Attack now, and the element of surprise will give you the good upper hand. Yeah, that would be a bad idea at the moment, I think. Make haste, men. We'll what hold off for a turn. To the provinces. Moving on. Trade with the Emperor's army. Alright, so I want two additional units of swordsmen, and I want two of your spearmen units as well. Actually. I want three and three. Step to it. And you On march. can return to Altdorf. I'll resupply his army and get it back up into order. I want the Emperor Summon at the maximum accounts. strength for this. So let's try this again. That's much better looking odds. Not by a huge margin, but by enough. So they have two armies here. We've got Riker Westmund and we've got Hans von Zinger. Now these are the guys from the north that I'm going to have to be fighting next. So these are quite literally I'm going to fight the Northmen. I'm not sure if I'm a Lannister or exactly who I'm playing as at the moment. Two units of swordsmen We've got Spearman, 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 Bowman, Hellstorm Rocket Battery, and Mortars. So I need to eliminate these three range units at the moment, because they can do a hell of a lot of damage in a hurry. 
What's the reinforcements coming in with? Not much. Two units of spearmen, one unit of swordsmen, and one unit of pistolers. So Hans von Singer isn't much of a threat, but I'm going to have to annihilate Richter here in a real hurry. These units are going to be my primary targets, so I'm going to have to get range units on to neutralize them as fast as possible while having swordsmen free to charge in. Oh, that's an orcish idol in the background. It's Come, men! It seems Todbringer sends his midden wolves across the Reich to test our metal. He seems to think that since my father's death, Reichland is weak, and we cower under our beds waiting for these Ulrich worshippers to save us from our woes. I say we Reichlanders are more than capable of defending ourselves. I say we show Todbringer's mongrels that Reichlander blood flows through our veins. We face the trespassers deep in the blood pines. Keep your wits, lads, for there is more than Ulrich's dogs in there. My father had to send the Rice Guard in to purge these woods of forest goblin filth more than once during his reign. Yet that is not what we face today. No! Today we send the elect account of Middenland a message that it is the House of Franz that protects the borders of Reichland! A stirring speech, if not a little, little long-winded. So, we can see their deployment and it looks like... Yep, it is a correct ambush. We have a hostile convoy here. Westman's up the front. Swordsman, swordsman, spearman, 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 crossbowman, and the mortar. I okay, say so. All the ranged are at the back. So I need, I need, I need, I need. I want my shock cavalry right there. Their first job is going to be to charge straight in. Uh, give me. Handgunners, that is both my range units. Um, yeah, put them right there. A little bit more of an angle. Okay. So I can have them immediately start attacking. Their first job, primary job, is going to take out these Hellstorm rocket batteries. That has to be removed. Spearmen and swordsmen in a group of two, which works perfectly fine for me. So a little bit further over, I think. It'd be nice if I could turn these trees off just for the deployment phase so I can see exactly where everything is. Now, where is our emperor? Here he is up the front. All right, so we need from him. Swordsmen and what have we got here? Another old spearman here. Main Come thing I want to do. Closer to the border. These guys are going straight for the front of the convoy. I want the Emperor engaging their leader and tying him up straight away. Swordsman, swordsman, halberdiers. Halberdiers! Ready for war! Swordsman and Spearman, select those two, and I want them, and I'm just basically going to rely lie these guys up in a giant... Spearman! We are Sigmar's heirs! I think I might have gone overkill with the forces. I will put these ones right here in reserve. In the middle. So if I need troops to move somewhere in a hurry, I've got troops available. And... That's all I need. Party time. Ready to fire. Engage. Engage. 
Engage. It sure looks like they're going to have to engage these guys. March forward. Those spearmen can move off. I'm not going to need them. I have two more units down here too. So I bring these down quickly. These spearmen are doing nothing. Get through. Split here so I can get through potentially, and I want Spearman to push forward. Range units continue firing. Why are you guys not attacking? Cavalry units are sitting out there just not attacking. Spearman, Spearman, Spearman. Yes, move through and engage. Double rows. Those two advance this way, those three advance. These forces have been broken. Yes, sir. Can you hitting them? Enemy Lord is dead. And it looks like we have double speed. I need them in there as fast as we possibly can. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. I wasn't expecting them to be here so soon. Alright. Range units, I need you up here as well, immediately. These two units can engage the spearmen. Swordsmen in, spearmen on those swordsmen. I need the cavalry here. Damn it. You engage the hero. Sigma commands. Ready for war. Take the enemy, sir. Reichsguard. Where are the Reichsguard? I need you here now. They've got cavalry with ranged weapons, and I need that dealt with. Finding range, sir. Formation. Cavalry just died, so that's alright. Rucks guarding from the rear. And I shall put my range units right there. And they will shoot at whatever they can. Oh, that made a mess. This was significantly easier than I was expecting it to be. Although I probably lost a lot more troops than I necessarily needed to there. I really wasn't expecting the second reinforcements to arrive so quickly. But it looks like we killed both the enemy lords, so I'm not unhappy about that. 
in turn, we have decisive victory in this battle. Lost 101 men. They lost 617 combined. It could have been worse. My army control wasn't particularly great in there. I got a couple of armies, or a couple of my units, completely out of position. Um, and let's make a... S yeah, let's make a statement. May I execute the captives as well? I have a habit of just killing everyone. Battle of Blood Pine Woods. Those who would break away from the rule of the Emperor are nothing but tenacious. They have sent a request for assistance to their allies in the north. This appeal has been answered with covert detachments of men. Our spies have revealed a massing military force in Blood Pine Woods. Take the fight to them. Da, 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 da. So that's the Battle of Blood Pine Woods. Win the battle. Yeah, I did that. We've got the Sword of Striking and a new hero, a Battle Wizard. Oh, nice. Finally, you get a Battle User. So that must be it. Light Wizard. Light Wizards are rarely seen without treasured tomes and arcade scrolls in their hands. Light Magic is rumoured are renowned for its powers of protection, yet a light wizard can also capture blazing lights and hurl them to burn a foe. Cleanse corruption, damage buildings, magical interference, assassinate. Interesting. I haven't had a chance to play much with magic. Actually, I haven't had a chance to play with any magic in this, even the, uh, the other races that I've been playing around with, because I'm running a, a slight vampire one on the side. But I haven't really had any dedicated magic users yet. Charge bonus plus four percent, melee attack plus two. Sort of striking. Campaign movement range scribe. Some scribes tire of reading about adventures. Da 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 da. Campaign movement range increased plus eight, which stacks really well with what I've got. Outrider, experienced outdoorsman, renowned for armies, caravans, and other travelling parties. Life expectancy is short. Chance of spotting nearby foreign armies, plus 25%. The Emperor's I getting boosted here. to hell here. I like. Now, he hasn't got a huge amount of movement left, so what I'm going to do to finish off this turn, and before I call it, Step is start the it. Emperor back towards Altdorf for the, the moment. Empire. And we're going to start a recruitment here. We've got pistoliers, missile cavalry. By Sigma's right. I want two of those. Between one of those. Two units of crossbow. That's going to be too much. One unit of crossbowmen and an additional unit of swordsmen. Oh, we got spearmen with shields. No, just a unit of swordsmen, and that'll make his army at least. I make it so it matters enough that when I leave him behind for defence he should be fine and I'll give him another turn next. So my plan for the next turn will be to move uh, Eben out of Altdorf, possibly head him towards Ilhart for the moment, have the Emperor rest in Altdorf for a turn or two just to make sure all his troops are back up to full and then we are going to charge across the river and I'm going for Karaburg first. And it will be... The first of the Midden Land that we capture, considering this is where the guys from that quest line are coming from. So if we can take out Midden, uh, make out Karaburg, and I'm assuming there should probably be another city over here, and there would have to be two. Actually, no, that will be Midden Lands. There could be two or three up in here to take the province. So we need to take the south province across the River Reich first and have it under control, then we'll be able to make our way north into, head towards the Nordlands and get this under control. And with any luck, everybody else through here should be under an agreement, so we won't have to worry about them too much at this time. But if we have to, I will be leaving an army in Reichland just in case. So at this point, that is the end of this particular video. We have Reichland secured now, so we're beginning to expand the Empire. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me basically try and learn how to play Total War again. It has been some time. And until next time, click like if you do, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll catch you then.